Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be solving Cambridge IGCSC Information and Communication Technology Paper 3 for May June 2024, Variant 31. You have been supplied with the following source files. I have the source files here. These are the source files. Task 1, evidence document. Create a new word process document. Make sure your name, center number and candidate number will appear on every page of this document. And you need to save this as J2431 evidence followed by your center number. So I'll open a word document. First, let's insert the candidate details in the header. Give your name center number and candidate number let's save this inside your folder the name is j2431 evidence followed by your center number and candidate number save as the word document save Next task to spreadsheet. Open and examine the file diverse.csv. This file will be used in step two. Do not make any changes. Open and examine splendid.csv. So we have the files here, splendid and diverse. Now let's make sure all the contents are visible. Rows 9 to 32 will show the number of sightings of the splendid toadfish on each reef for one week in February. Rows 35 onwards show the details of all sightings for this week. So rows 9 to 32 will show the number of sightings for each reef. And from here, uh, this shows the details for A period of one week. Place your name, center number and candidate number left aligned in the footer. So go to insert header and footer. Left aligned you have to give your name, center number and candidate number. Place the automated file name with no file path on the right in the footer. So on the right side, you have to give the file name with no file path. So just click on file name here. Next, save this as a spreadsheet with the file name splendid followed by your center number and candidate number. So let's save this. Splendid followed by your center number and candidate number. Make sure it is saved as Excel workbook. Place a replicable formula in cell C35 to look up the type of diver using their name and external file divers.cs. So first let's go to the normal view. Click on view. Normal. So in row C34, we have to look up the type using the name. Type of the diver using their name and the external file. So the details of the divers are given here. The name is given, years diving and the type is here. So we need to look up the type from this file based on the name. So let's use a VLOOKUP function because the table is a vertical table, VLOOKUP. You can click on FX here so that you get the wizard. 
the lookup value it is based on the name so the lookup value is cell b35 which is the name for this particular type now the table array is this table you need to select the data in this table and column index is the number of the column from which we need the answer so we are going to look up the type so type is in column 3 so you have to give column index as 3 and range lookup is 0 give ok so you got the type here you can replicate this so step 2 is done so this is the formula next place in cell b3 a formula to count the total number of sightings for a seven day period in cell b3 the total number of sightings so the total number of sightings uh, we have to just count all the values here so i'll be using equal to count a count a is used for counting all values in a column because here we have text so i'm using count a to count So this is the formula. So we got the number of sightings. We cannot use count here because uh, count will work only for numeric values. So that's why count A is used to count all the names. Next place in cell B4, a formula to count the total number of sightings for a seven day period where a photograph was taken. So if you look at the data, you can see there are photographs the values are yes or no so if the photograph is taken the condition will be yes so we need to count the number of sightings so we can use a count if function here count if so the range is photographic evidence select this and the criteria is yes because we need sightings with photograph so in the criteria you can give yes give ok next place in cell b5 a formula to count uh, the number of sightings for a seven day period where a photograph was taken that held the gps location of the fish So we need to make sure uh, the number of sightings are taken in such a way that photographic evidence is yes. Also GPS is yes because photographic evidence with GPS. So both of them should be yes. So again we can use a count if but here now it will be count ifs function because there are two conditions to be checked. So count ifs. So in count ifs first criteria range one. So first we have to check whether the photograph evidence is there. So I'll select this range and the criteria is yes. Now we have criteria range two. So we need to make sure GPS is yes. So select criteria range two, the column in which GPS is there. And now criteria two will be again yes give okay so we got the number of sightings with photo and gps so this is the formula for photo and gps place a replicable formula in cell b9 to display the number of sightings at this reef where a photograph with gps was taken so now we are going to count the same similar formula but we have to make sure it is for this particular reef. So here I have to find the uh, number of sightings for this reef name where photograph and GPS was there. 
So again, we'll be using count ifs. So, but we uh, in this formula, we need to make sure the particular reef name is considered. Let's enter the formula equal to count ifs. First, we need to make sure this particular reef is selected from the range. So the reef name comes in this range, the reef. So let's give the range here. First range is the reef. And its criteria is this reef name. Now this range must be fixed for all the reef names. It should not change. So we have to give absolute referencing. So we need to add the dollar sign in between the row and column references so that the range will be fixed and it will not change while replicating. So make sure the dollar sign is added between the cell reference. Now criteria range 2, we have to make sure the photographic evidence is yes. So the range 2 will be this column. And we need to make this range also absolute. The criteria is yes. Now we need the GPS to be yes. So we have to select the third criteria range as the GPS column. This one will be also absolute. And the criteria 3 is again yes. Give OK. So we got one here. So this is the formula. So first we checked it is the particular reef here from the reef column. So the criteria is this reef name. Then we checked from the photograph column that it is yes. And then next in the GPS column it is yes. So three criteria are evaluated here. Now you can replicate this so that it is calculated for all the reefs. Next format this top of your spreadsheet so that it looks like this. You can see we need to format the spreadsheet this way. Make sure cell A1 to B1 are merged. So A1 to B1 are merged and B7 to B1. 8 are merged, B7 to B8, set the font size of the text in row 1 to 22 points, should be 22 and you can see it is bold and in row 7 and 8 the headings are bold. Let's make this vertically aligned. And give wrap text. Now all the other data are right aligned here. Text in rows 7 and 8 are center aligned. So central line and row 2 is partly hidden here and row 6 is also partly hidden. Save your spreadsheet. Next, select only cells A1 to C75 and print these cells with the formula displayed. So, A1 to C75. Uh, go to formulas. We have to show the formula. Make sure everything is visible. Just click here and double click on the borders.
The printout must fit on landscape orientation. Row and column headings are displayed and contents are completely visible. So before printing, you can go to the print preview. Now let's make it landscape. Click on page setup. Go to sheet. You have to make sure the row and column headings are visible and all the contents are visible. So this is the required printout. Now go back to the file. Remove the formula from here. Remove the formula. Now make sure all the data are completely visible. Select rows 1 to 8 inclusive and only the rows between 9 and 32 where a sighting took place. Take a screenshot of the method used to select these rows between 9 and 32. Place the screenshot in your evidence document. So first we need to find out uh, between rows 9 and 32 where a sighting took place. So you can, where a sighting took place means so the number of sightings uh, must not be uh, zero. So let's filter the data, go to data, filter and we have to give number of sightings must be not equal to zero. So give does not equal to zero. Take a screenshot of the method used to select these rows. So let's take a, a screenshot of the method. It should be pasted inside the evidence document. So this is step 9 evidence. So now we need to select from rows 1 to 8 and the rows between 9 and 32. Print this selection. So select the rows. From 9 to 32. So this way you need to select. Go to print. Print selection. The printout fits on a single page. The printout is in portrait. Row and column headings are displayed and the contents of the cells in the selected rows are fully visible. So let's make this portrait. Row and column headings are already visible here and it fits onto one page. Or you can just give fit sheet on one page. It's already fitting. So this is the required printout. This is the end of the spreadsheet task. Next is file management and web page which will be done in another video. Thank you for now.